We are not talking small or big. It, it has nothing to do with size. Dependently through which part of the respiratory tract air passes and where the virus is and what we do, whether we breathe, we speak or we sing, there are different size of aerosols uh, generated, different concentrations of them. And then if they pass through the area uh, of the respiratory tract where there's virus, they also pick up virus on the web. So this cloud, this cloud which stays uh, around in the air, it may contain the uh, virus. And if that's the case, they stay suspended uh, in the air and they can stay suspended in the air for quite a long time until they are somehow removed from the air. And in places where ventilation is inefficient, insufficient, they can stay for a long, very long time. They can easily stay in the air for a few hours. This depends on the condition of the environment. Uh, viruses uh, this, of this type uh, like uh, cool air and dryish conditions. So uh, if these are the conditions like in many office buildings, for example, this could be good conditions. If on the other hand, we go outside where there is uh, hot and in addition UV radiation, well, within a very short period of time, they will be deactivated. Well, very much so, but this is not the only aspect um, since UV radiation. It is the very fast dilution. Outdoors, which is a well, large reservoir, dilution is very fast. So, therefore, the airborne transmission outdoors has very little chances to occur. Of course, there is still that contact if you are standing next to somebody for a long time and this person sneezes at you or something like this, that's the close contact. But otherwise, in uh, airborne transmission, it's much less likely to occur. Uh,